welcome back to our snack verse box number six. This one is from Hungary. Big box. It's a big box. It's a big box. This is a big box. And it comes with a drink. Obviously, we've already took it out, so we could put it in the fridge. It's fresh. And what is this? This is a sour cherry juicy soda. Ooh, I like sour things, so it should be good. We've got the box, so we can tell you all about the food. Let's unbox it together. And as you know, it always comes in a fancy box. Alright, so let's have a look what we've got. We've got Master Croc. Ooh. Pizza flavour. Pizza flavour. Crisps or chips, wherever you're watching from. Look good. Oh, we have some more of these. We've had these before. We're we'll called different things. Panda puffs. Puff ice right. top. Ritz. Fries little things. And we also have some one monete Lunza Kabik. Sorry if I they actually look set that similar. wrong. Yeah, they look similar to them ones. These look sweet. These, we... these are coated in chocolate. These ones? Yeah. Oh. Might like UK, these. Ones, yeah. Ooh, we have some Smile Palace things, some kind of cake bar with strawberries like in the middle. Yeah, I like pancakes. We also have some Grash original nuts, tomato and lime flavour. Mm. Interesting. Oh, we've got a cone. We've got a telly faggy of Neto Tamay retro style. Nice little cone. We have some. <laughs> we've had these before. We've had these before. Different country, obviously, but they are called Tracks Party. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it properly. They look like basils. Actually, these are ham flavoured. Oh, ham flavoured. Interesting. And then we have a sport in England that would be classed as a club, I guess. Mint flavour, is it? Oh, it might be wrong. Uh, we have a balaton, just looks like a wafer chocolate bar. Am I wrong again? Yeah, that is a wafer. Ah, correct. And this one, this looks like it's going to be a winner. Choc some kind of chocolate coconut log, small version. And that's it for this box. And do you want to get started this time? Um, I'm going to go with a pizza crisp. Ooh, pizza, pizza crisp. Unpack it. Oh, copper there. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's like pizza. Ooh, very herbs herby. and spices, very herby. Oh, the little crocodile shape. Okay. <laughs> all of them, I'm guessing, mm. all of them. Oh, that. Oh God. Herby, I'm guessing like that. very herby. I'm not getting a lot of pizza. These herbs. Yeah, no. You got a lot of herbs and a bit of tomato, That one was better. That one from the bottom. Fuck it out. A bit like what's it? Yeah, a bit like what's it. Then shake the crocodile and. Yeah, kids all love them. Really nice. I think I'll have another one. Yeah, good. I think I'll do the other crisp before I have a drink. But these should taste like ham. Well, these are not bacon. These are ham, according to my wife. According to the book. According to the book. Oh, we're down for smell like ham. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. 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 Mm. Yeah, Crunchy and soft. We do kind of taste a bit like ham. Crunchy ham. I can't make my mind up if I like them or not. Smell like bacon. Yeah, they're quite good. They're salty, and I like salty foods. But I, just, I don't know. Crisps that you've left out too long. Yeah. Crunchy, like, but they are. If you bought frazzles and just left the packet open. Well, they're really good. Yeah, they do taste like ham. In a way. I'm perfect. I like them better the, than the ones we've had before. I get the ham coming through after I've eaten it. Mm. Really salty, so I do like them. Yeah, good. Yeah. 
turn. I'm not a big fan of the upright. No, me neither. More of a kid's treat, see? They don't, they don't smell anything. Mm, they're smell, very sweet. Smell, smell that colouring to me. You yeah. see that. I don't get any flavour. Oh, well, different shapes and sizes, just not like, right. I suppose we're doing UK. Yeah, stop. Oh, melt in your mouth. Very, very sweet. very sweet. If you've got kids, you'll love them. But not for me. Your turn. Let's try this drink. So it's a sour, refreshing beverage. Is this an energy drink? Capturing juicy cherries. So in the last video, we had a drink that we didn't know happened. Yes. It's on there. Was. Really nice. And then this one, no, it doesn't say it is. It's very sweet and tangy. Smells like cherry. Not really sour. Definitely tastes like cherry. Really nice. Not sour. I don't think so. But then again, I like sour stuff, so my wife will probably think it's sour. But yeah, I really like it. Yeah, it's not sour. I've got a little, little tiny bit. cake, but yeah, really nice. Yeah, I'd buy that. You'd buy that? Yeah, I like cherry. That's to be good if my wife would buy it. Yeah, uh, yeah so what's up next? Um, I'm going to do a pancake. Uh, soft. Soft or just flattened? No, soft. Oh, it looks like a pancake. Oh, it's a oh, pancake. Oh, it's got a Smiley paste on it. Let's pop a pancake. I'm guessing it's filled with strawberry. Ah, uh, but is it good strawberry or the artificial stuff we use? And it looks like artificial stuff, which I'm not a fan of. The pancake's good. The pancake's good. Soft and moist on the outside. The filling, I'm not a big fan of. It's artificial stuff. There's not really a lot of taste to this one, is there? No. It's sweet, although it's the pancake pulls it off. Yeah, the pancake pulls it off. But yeah, kids all love them. But for me, it's a mess for me. I'd buy it as a snack. Yeah. You want like different kids. things. <laughs> um, let's get the messy one out of the way. Let's go with this little weird chocolate. So this tone. one. It's a crunchy cone filled with luscious velvety chocolate cream that will melt in your mouth. Been around since the 1970s. 1970s? 1970s and it's from Hungary. Mm -hmm. If anybody has had one of these in the comments, let me know. Because it's been around since the 1970s. And um, it's a bit... A bit broken. A bit broken from getting delivered, obviously. Sorry. Like it, man. Mm. Mm. Oh no. No? No. Whiz. Not much flavour. It's like a mousse. But this is not pressed. It's like stale. Not for me. No. 100% no. Pass. Not a fan. Yeah. Not a Just tastes stale. Taste not it. a lot of taste. No. Oh, I wouldn't recommend. No. Disappointed because I thought that was good. Yeah. Yes. Wouldn't recommend. No. Not. Your choice. I'm going to go with the sport. Mm. Club. Oh, I said that would be wrong. What flavour is it? So this is a delicious treat with a soft nugget topped with generous coating of rich dark chocolate. So it's, oh, I thought it would have been mint. So it's nothing like what you said. Nothing like that, Lord. Is that good side or bad side? Smells like dark chocolate. So chocolate nougat with a low dark chocolate. I don't hate it, but it's very dark. Mm. No. It's a bit hard to Not bad. 
not something I go have a way to buy. If I was hungry, I mean, I'd probably buy one. Nothing special, but it's not bad. We'll get these other ones out of the way. Not like the puffs. These are going to be sweet. I can tell by looking at them. What have we got? What are we, any these are covered flavors? in chocolate then. Oh, covered in chocolate. So they might be a little bit. Ah, I forgot about that. So you can look like the ones we do in the UK without chocolate filling. Of course. You know what I mean? I can't remember what they're called over in the UK. Let's try an orange one. Oh. Combination of roasted peanuts and corn pops. Mm. You get a peanut. I've got peanut. But if you have sensitive teeth or you don't want to go to the dentist every two weeks, I won't recommend these. They're hard. Very hard. But that was nice. You taste, I got a peanut one, but very hard. Oh, they are very hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, unless you like visiting dentists a lot. I wouldn't recommend these. Yeah. I'm not a big peanut fan. And I probably won't be giving these to my daughter just because they are so hard. But they're not <laughs> bad. The worst things in the world, but just be careful <clears throat> if you want to give them to your kids, they are very hard. Yeah? Yeah. You agree? I agree. <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. It's actually the last one, did you? I can't remember. So this one is the wafer. Smooth creamy chocolate, delicate crunch of wafer. Another wafer bar. You seem to get a wafer bar in every box we have. Mm. Is that a thing? I'm not a fan of the chocolate. No, I was just about to say the same thing. I'm not a fan of the chocolate. It's just... Not what we're used to. Not what we're used to. I'm not after having Belgian chocolate and the last one. It seems a little bit Sweden bland. Yeah. It's okay for a lunch, kids' lunch box. Nothing special. They taste like blue ribbons to me, but not as nice. Okay, what's next? We're going to save this one to last, I think, because that'll be the best. So we're going to go with some nuts. I am going to be shocked. Just a tomato and lime flavour. Interesting. Is it right, tomato and lime? Yeah. It smells really good. Shell. Again, just be careful if you're going to buy some for your kids. Very crunchy, but really nice. But again, very, very crunchy. Well, I'm not a fan of peanuts. They're a little spicy. I'm not really trying. You taste the tomato, can't really taste the lime, but they're good. But I wouldn't just say buy them myself because they're too hard. But yeah, not bad. I'm going to leave these out so we can give you our final verdict at the end, which is our favourite, which is the worst. Okay, last one. I'm hoping this is going to be bad. Please. Same, I'm hoping this is going to be a winner. <laughs> what we got? This is a combination of coconut and chocolate wrapped in retro inspired pack. Each bite unveils a creamy coconut filling. It's got alcohol in it. In a smooth chocolate. No. It doesn't taste like it. It's not good. Mm, it tastes like, mm, you might know what it is. It tastes like some kind of li Spirit. liqueur, yeah. Can't put my finger on it. Mm, it's, um, no, it's not good. Malibu? Mm -mm. That's, yeah, Malibu. Malibu. So it's coconut. If you like coconut and Malibu, you'll like that. I'm not a fan. Mm. No. No, no. 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 What's a bit wrong? Uh, it's weird. It's so weird. That coconut and chocolate wrapped in. Does it say it's not a No, it doesn't. Weird. But it tastes like it. You like it? She keeps eating it. Or is she doing it just for the side? <laughs> That's a hard one. Initially, I didn't like it. The and more then you eat it. Yeah. And then it's like a cakey, 
something in the middle, some kind of cream. It's weird. I don't hate it. I wouldn't choose to buy it. If I was going to say, uh, I, don't hate it. I bought this six boxes. This was a box of mistakes. I think this might have been the worst for me. This was the weirdest box for me. Just with how many things that, um, like this was, could have been good. Maybe it's just because it's been delivered like this. It's a bit stale. But this was just a lot. Weird. Didn't have a lot of flavour. I like the drink. I love the cream. And I also okay, like let's just get down to it. What was? We'll start with the worst. What was your worst, least favourite out of all these things on the table? It's a hard one because. I, There's a couple you haven't not, tried. These, I haven't got any taste. I don't like peanuts, so I didn't like those. That had no taste. I didn't like this one. Okay, so we'll go with, which was your favourite? I'm try that one. So I don't like those. I don't like those. So, for me, I didn't hate that, but I wouldn't try that. It's between these two. I really enjoyed the pancakes. I love pancakes. For your favourite? I'll give you my verdict. No, 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 these both. These two. Two of your I give my verdict because I tried everything. So I'll go with my favourite first. My favourite, so hard because it was just a weird box and I kind of, this is, yeah, like my wife said, it's probably one of my least on my list of favourite boxes we've had so far. My favourite is going to be this drink, Sour Cherry. That is my favourite. And the thing I hated the most, disliked the most, should I say. Not hate, but take your pick. Now, I won't add them, them or them, because they was yeah, they was fine. Um, that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. Kid sweets. I didn't have a problem with them. Just died. Wouldn't recommend. Now is that at least three with these two are my worst favourites, and I'll probably say this because it was stale. And then this because it was just plain weird. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, that was from Hungary that box. But then again, we only get is it ten items or fifteen items in the box? Can't remember. I think it might be ten items in our medium sized box. If you get a smaller box, I think you get five or six items. You get a large box, you get twenty items, I believe. So if you get the same medium sized box again, you could get different little treats so I'm not saying that I dislike hungry treats we could have some really nice stuff but this is just what we got nice. in our box and yeah this is our verdict on these treats alone I'm sure there's thousands of more in hungry but Chris and I wife started eating them so she likes them nice. so yeah and I will carry on drinking this sour cherry and this was our uh, box number six so yes, stay tuned for our next box, which will be box number seven coming soon. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.